this UCM baseball update brought to you by Country Kitchen, highways 13 and 50 in Warrensburg. Another three-game home series for Mules Baseball this week, this one against Northwest, and we're starting on a very, very chilly Thursday afternoon. Bearcats start swinging the bats early after the top of the first. Northwest has a 3-0 lead on the Mules. But UCM answers right back. Matt Elliott starts with a single. Dylan Farrell follows with a double down the left field line. Then a pass ball allows Elliott to score. It's 3-1 Northwest. Jake Alexander flies out to left field, but Farrell tags up a third and scores anyway. You see him down three to two. Then Bennett Oliver turns a full count into the longest home run I have seen at Crane Stadium Tompkins Field. It is way back into the trees past the right field fence. That evens the score up. We are tied 3-3 after one inning. The tie is broken in the bottom of the third. Runners on the corners for Oliver. He lays down the sacrifice bunt. Elliott scores. Mules take the lead 4-3. Derek Cornell follows that with a hit to second. He's safe on a bad throw to first, and that also allows Alexander to score. 5-3 UCM now. The Mules' bats come alive in the bottom of the seventh and eighth innings. Tyler House helps by pitching six innings with six strikeouts. Central Missouri run rules Northwest in game one, 16-6 in eight innings. Game two Friday starts with Northwest plating a run in the top of the first inning, but we're going to pick up the highlights in the fifth inning when the Mules score their first run. Matt Safranic gets on base with a hit to shallow left field, steals second, then advances to third on a wild pitch. Elliott sends the second baseman scrambling after the ball. Elliott is safe. Safranic scores UCM's first run. Game is tied 1-1 to -one in the fifth. Two outs in the bottom of the sixth before Cornell singles to second. He steals over. Safranic slaps a hit past the shortstop. Cornell rounds third, sprints across home plate just before the throw. Mules take the lead in the sixth, 2-1. to one. Bottom seven, Elliott waiting on third, and Farrell lets him come home with a sack fly to center field. UCM now up 3-1. to one. Alexander gets on base two, and Northwest changes pitchers, but then on a ball four to Cole Disler, the catcher throws down to second. His teammate doesn't throw it back quick enough. Alexander is safe at home plate. Mules leading 4-1. One. The eighth inning goes by fast, but in the top of the ninth, the Bearcats' bats come alive, scoring three runs on three hits. UCM goes three up, three down in the bottom of the ninth, so we're tied four to four and headed to extra innings. First batter in the 10th for Northwest single. Sack bunt moves him over, then a Nick got a hit right up the middle, lets Nico Pablo beat the tag. Bearcats in the lead now, 5-4. to four. No more damage. We head to the bottom of the 10th to see if the Mules can answer. Cornell wears the very first pitch. Disler lays down a bunt on his first pitch, and the third baseman bobbles it, so the first baseman pulls off the bag. Disler is safe. Safrana hits a chopper to shortstop, and the ball stays in his glove, so it's bases loaded. Jackson Schnurbush grounds out to third, but Cornell does score and we've got a tie game again five to five only one out for UCM Northwest intentionally walks pinch hitter Colin Neville for another bases loaded situation fielder's choice gets Disler out at home plate two down now but then Farrell likes the first pitch thrown at him it is just over the center fielder Safranic scores walk off win for the Mules thanks to Farrell Central Missouri takes game two over Northwest in 10 innings six to five Sunday, game three of the series, a beautiful day for baseball, and this one starts off just like the other two. Visitors get the bases loaded and threaten to score, but Carlos Diarmas strikes out the last two batters to get out of the jam in the top of the first. One on one out for Jake Alexander in the bottom of the first. He sends a 2-1 pitch sailing over the right field fence. Two-run homer for Alexander. Mules take an early 2-0 lead. Top two, two more on for Northwest. Diarmas ends it again with a backwards K. Bottom two, Matt Safrana gets it started with a triple, then catcher John Fairchild on base two. Dylan Farrell hits one to the wall. Safranic scores easily, and here comes Fairchild. Two RBI double for Farrell. Mules leading 4 0. Top four, Bearcats load the bases, then Aaron Barrett doubles to left field, gets two RBIs. Northwest trailing 4-2 to two now. Visitors plate two more, and we're tied in the fourth inning, 4-4. Four four. Let's move to the sixth, new pitcher for UCM, but the Bearcats looking at bases loaded again. A little hopper to short, and the Mules get one out there, but a run scores. Northwest takes the lead, 5-4. to four. Ozzy Adams follows that with a double down the left field line for the Bearcats. That allows two runs to score, three runs on just one hit for the visitors here. Northwest leads 7 to four after the sixth. It's the bottom of the seventh when the Mules find a response. Farrell gets it started with a double that hits off the left field wall. Alexander drops a hit in center field, putting Farrell on third. Two batters later, a sack fly from Cornell gives Farrell time to tag up and score. UCM trails 7-5, two outs. Disler at the plate next, still one runner on. He blasts the ball way out into right field. Two-run homer for Disler makes it a tie game in the seventh, 
Seven to seven. Two strikeouts from Andy Muehlberger in the eighth help retire the side. Bottom eight, runners on the corners for Farrell. His bunt pops up, but drops. Schnurbush scores from third, and Farrell is safe at first. UCM takes over the lead, eight to seven. Three up, three down for the Bearcats in the top of the ninth. Central Missouri takes game three and the sweep over Northwest, eight to seven. We knew if we stayed together that we had a good chance, and so we all just if it's not you, we always say pass it to the next guy. And so we just stayed with that mentality and it's worked out for us. I think our team's character, just in terms of being able to respond to an adverse situation, was something that, uh, that was the big part of it. And whether it came through by hit or by defensive play or, or by pitch and, and inning with the pitchers being able to hold the rope there, I think the series would be defined by some of those big plays for sure. Mules baseball is now 15-8 and eight overall, 13-3 and three in the MIAA. Reporting for UCMAthletics.com, I'm Katie Smith. This UCM baseball update brought to you by Country Kitchen, highways 13 and 50 in Warrensburg.